Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. Available now on the Apple App Store and the Android Play Store, get all the latest news, fixtures, videos, scores, stats, and key dates for your favorite football teams from around the globe. It's free to download, and of course, the link is in the description. If you love football, if you love the game, download the app today. So welcome ladies and gentlemen back today. Master League of course continues as uh, we're going to venture into the first game of the actual league season. Now let me clarify something real quick. Obviously the, the video I put out the other day, the Super Cup final, it was a bit of a problem wasn't there because Roberto Carlos and I think Ramundo were for some reason in the lineup and I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't have classic players on. In fact, they're off, and I tried this again with another playthrough, and this time it was Maldini who was in the lineup. Uh, I think the problem is coming from the edit file itself. What I did was I reset the names so that worked, but the stats are still the same. So I may have to manually go through and, and reset all the names because the players are there, like Paul Skulls and everything. The faces aren't right. They look nothing like them. So that's what you saw. I did not have classic players on. Just to clarify, something is going on with the game itself. And I know someone else said it happened to them too. So whether it's a PC problem or what it is, um, but hopefully we won't see too many of those. So obviously today is a bit of negotiations. And I went through uh, a lot of the comments with you guys and suggestions of players and who to bring in, who not to bring in, etc. And as I said in my last video, you know, I want to have a bit of a hybrid. This isn't about bringing in a ton, a ton of ton of youth players. It's about bringing in some good quality players, younger, but they can play with the adults or the, the well, of course, they're all adults, uh, the more experienced players as well. So let's quickly go through here and sort this out. Uh, so we've got a couple of loan things going on. That's fine. We'll get rid of these players because they're not needed. Obviously, if we wanted to buy Eden Hazard, we would... I have to fork out 125 odd million for him uh, we may be able to possibly do a bit of a swap so that's what we're going to be trying to do uh brahim diaz what is this guy like i mean do i want to sell him do i want to maybe play him is he going to play i might just leave him for now uh we've got two goalies okay we've got Courtois, who is now 26 she's a lot younger than i thought he was um navas is 32 so honestly, we could probably put Navas up. I'm going to put a lot of players up for um, transfer. I'm going to go for it. Even the likes of Gareth Bale. I want to see what I can get. Let's do this by rating. So Tony Crows is 28. Really, anyone over 30, I could probably sell. Modric, 33. Definitely getting on a bit now. If we could sell some of these players and bring in some really good solid ones then uh, obviously I'll be happy about that. So open to reasonable offers, yes. I actually think I have to redo this Navas one because I forgot to click place him on the transfer list. Uh, we've got Marcelo. I mean, i probably keep him. We will put Bale up. I don't even know if he's going to stay at Real Madrid or not, but we'll whack him on there. Benzema, as we know, is already up for transfer. Casemiro is fine. We'll keep him. Couture, yes. Isco, 26 uh, we'll probably end up keeping him. We've got Navas. Varane, definitely not a centre-back that I want to get rid of. Cavahouse, 26. Asensio, he's only 22. So I don't really think there's anyone else I'd want to get too much, get rid of too much. Uh, Vinicius Junior, obviously I want to play this guy, okay? He's going to be playing a lot, so don't worry. Uh, you can't grow players a substantial amount in one season, but... You can certainly get them, you know, if they if they get a breakthrough, yeah, that's when you're going to see a really good change and transition from different players. So these are the players that I've gone through and had a look at. And you can see there's not really much of a chance of signing any of them right now. Obviously, Eden Hazard is um, up there. We've got Akadi, uh, we've got Sun, Zayesh as well from Ajax, but he's completely on nothing. Uh, Donnarumma, maybe, you know, just as another goalie. If we were to sell, maybe uh, Couture as well. Uh, La Celso is another option that you guys had. We've got Pavon, Delic, we've got De Jong. I mean, this guy's been an absolute tank, hasn't he? Ajax have been phenomenal this season. What a joy to watch and play. And it's also a shame because you know come summertime, all these good young players are going to go elsewhere. And it's just, it's just bad luck for Ajax that they can't 
Every time, they, every time they get a good solid foundation of a team, they end up sort of parting ways. Uh, so we've got De Jong as well, Neres, a lot of these players from Ajax. Uh, Piatek, you've got Dolberg as well, and Bolo. Uh, is it Militao? Someone said that he may be heading to Real Madrid. He's only a 77, but, you know, he's 20-odd. Uh, Juan Felix as well, this guy. This guy. I may have to just go for him, purely because he is doing the business right now. Let's actually have a look at what they want. So he only has a release fee of 8 million. So we could snap him up. Um, we certainly could. And I probably just will, to be honest. Uh, some of you guys, quite a few of you wanted me to snap him up. So, yeah, let's do it. 8.071.200 million. Uh, player salary. Let's see. Let's not give him something ridiculous. He's only a young lad. He certainly doesn't need it. It's about 9.6. All right. That'll do. All right, so first one done. Probably will get him, which will be good. Uh, what is it? Rodrigo here from Brazil, from Santos, a left winger. Someone said about him as well. I mean, he's quick, but his ball control isn't bad. His dribbling isn't bad either. Of course, we do have Junior, whoopsie-daisy, on the flank as well. So that's pretty much all the players. So let's have a look here. If we go in with Hazard, or Hazard, sometimes I forget to say the D. Hazard. And... Uh, Let's have a look. So, pick a player to trade. Would they be up for anyone? Absolutely not. So, they wouldn't even take Benzema. Apparently not. Apparently, that's not good enough. Okay. So, I'd have to... Well, I'd have to go 91 million if I was going to give him Benzema. Okay. Well, I don't have that kind of funding right now. So, Eden Hazard is probably going to be a, a player I'm going to have to wait for. Uh, there isn't a whole lot I can do about him right now. Who else do we? I mean, we'll, we'll, we want to get rid of Benzema. Just want to. Icardi would be a good replacement. So let's see if we can go in here. He's got a release fee of 38 million. So honestly, we could probably do a straight swap between these two. Get rid of Benzema. There we go. Chance of signing, though, is only 20%. But uh, we can just wipe that up. So there we go. That's a, that's a job right there. We could get Icardi but we'll whack down the salary, 5.8. That should be all right. Okay, so we'll do that. Try and snap up Icardi. Uh, next up, Sun. I mean... Honestly, I don't think it's going to happen with Hazard. I don't think we're going to get him. Not unless, you know, an obscene amount of money comes through the ranks. I don't think that's going to happen. Who else? Delict out the back... I wouldn't mind getting a, a, a youthy type of centre-back. I know we've got Varane, we've got Ramos, but certainly this guy is no slouch. He's got a release fee of 28 million. We could possibly even do a straight swap for someone. What about Nacho? Would you take Nacho? Let's have a look. I probably would. No, they're not going to take that. Okay, fair enough. Actually, you know what? He doesn't have a release fee. No, he doesn't. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get him. That's not that's just not on the cards. Uh, even with a sell-on option. Delict, unfortunately, not going to happen, mate. Okay, next, let's move on. Uh, we've got De Jong in the middle. You know, actually, you know what? I mean, Zayesh would be a really good player if we swap him out with the likes of Luka Modric. Honestly, this guy, 25, creative playmaker. Very, very good at what he can do. So let's see if we can do this. Let's have a look. So let's see. If we were to swap you with Modric. Okay. That is doable. Uh, looks like he has a release fee as well. So we could get Zayesh and we could replace him. Get rid of Modric. Bring in this guy. That way we can put the salary down to 56 Okay, so I think we'll do that. Why not? And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of players. I'm going to do straight swaps. Completely change up this Real Madrid side. Why not? Have a bit of fun with it, considering this is probably going to be our last season before we get a bit of action with uh, Pez 2020. Uh, a roaming flank player. You know, only 21. I've also got Piatek as well up top. 
I don't know. Tempting, tempting, tempting. And we got Pavon. Another good player. This guy looks very good, actually. Uh, what about if we swapped him out for Bale? I mean, that's mental, I know. But that could be an option. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, but he only has a transfer fee of 32 million. 32 million. Players to trade. They never want to trade anyone, but you can still do it. So, I mean, we could say goodbye to Bale. But maybe want to keep him. What about Lucas Vasquez there on the flank? What about if we give you him one year? That's fine as well. Not too worried about that. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so let's leave it at that for now. Let's uh, go back, advance the time, and just see what happens. Just see what happens. I literally, like I said, I just want to grow this team, mix it up. Mix it up. Let's not have the same boring playthroughs all the time. Let's change it up a little bit. So I've got an offer for uh, Javier Sanchez from Rostov. Uh, he's also said he's found a really special player. Have you? Well, let's have a look at who you found exactly, shall we? Uh, let's go to scouting. And it looks like he's found... Okay, that's not... It's not even relevant, mate, because... <laughs> this this is the guy right here. Um, this is technically Paolo Maldini, but it technically isn't. But it is. It just doesn't look like him. I don't know why these players are in this game. I never even asked you to put classic players in. Oh, well. Okay, so this looks like a loan deal. Accept the terms. Fair enough. And uh, that should be good enough there. Well, let's go ahead and advance the time once more. Once we get into sort of the final transfer day, then we can really see, uh, you know, what we can do, what we can't do. Uh, so Icardi didn't actually go through. That one broke down. The rest of them looks like they, they could be good to roll. So let's have a look. So Icardi, for whatever reason, doesn't want it. Okay, can't force you. Uh, Zayash, there we go. It looks like he is good. And I think he'll be a good player. You know, yeah, we swap out Modric. We lose him, technically, the world player of the year. That's still debatable. But, um, yeah, let's accept those. So his annual fee will be 5.6 mil and a fee of 1.5 will be paid. Okay. Job done. So we're down to 11 million in the salary budget. Um, Pavon... Vasquez will be the player we're switching out. This guy can play. The good thing about him is he can play on the left and the right. Ridiculous speed. Not bad ball control. Dribbling's all right as well. Uh, but this guy's just purely the speed merchant that you need. He's also got knuckle shot, rising shots, pinpoint crossing. So, yeah, this guy could be the business. We'll go ahead and accept that. So we're going to be paying 6.9 mil and 4.5 mil when it comes to the salary. Okay, so we're down to 6.5 here. And then, is it Huao Felix? I'm guessing it's uh, Huao, isn't it? Huao? Sure, that's how you pronounce it. We just call him Felix. But, um, yeah, this guy is just young. Young, and I want to play him as much as I can. What's his stamina like? 72. Okay, he's got some tricks as well. Uh, so if we accept that, we're going to be paying 1.5 million there and a transfer fee of 8 million. That's fine. Okay, we'll do that. So there we go. That's what we're down to. 51 million. 4.9 million on the salary. And let's back out. And uh, one thing I want to do real quickly. Let's go to finances. Can we actually... I don't think you can. Can you change... No, you can't really change any of these. I wish you could actually alter it. You've got a little slider on FIFA, haven't you? That enables you... To pretty much switch up your finances, but you're not able to do it on pairs, which is kind of annoying. Um, maybe we want to do salary budget for now with gate receipts and merchandise because we do want to um, get a little bit more salary if we possibly can. So let's go on with the time and continue. The first game is not too far away now. So we'll have a couple of signings. So Modric has gone. Vasquez has gone. Three new players have joined up with the squad. And Marcelo has returned from his injury layoff. So congratulations on signing your first player. No doubt you're looking forward to seeing him in action. Absolutely we are. Now our team spirit's probably going to drop down a wee bit. Um, but that's fine. 
We've still got to get rid of Benzema, though. Still need another forward. Uh, a prolific goal scorer. Uh, we had an offer for Valverde from Crystal Palace. Let's quickly have a look at that one. So where are you, mate? Right here. Centre midfielder, 1.1. A loan offer. Okay, how's he going to be doing? Uh, we could probably get rid of him, so we will accept that. Sure, you can go on loan. That's not a big deal. Why is our salary budget still 16 million? I thought it went down. That's weird. All right, well, let's just dive into this because this is going to be yeah, the first game of the official season. There's a look at the missions, which is... Win the first match and obviously win La Liga, which I'm sure is not going to be that easy. So let's have a look at the lineup for today and we'll be right back to see who is going to face Espanyol. Um, Bale's up for it. So we're going to start Bale, Benzema and uh, Vinicius Jr. Okay, we're going to start those three up top. The only reason I really started them because they're on blue. Otherwise, you know, I probably would give Pavon a bit of a chance to show what he can do. But it's fine. It's the first game of the season. Plenty of time for him to show what he can do. Likewise, Felix will start on the bench. Um, if we want to bring him on later, we can. We're going to start Zayesh, Crows, and uh, Marcos Lorente in the middle, in the hole, with Varan Ramos, Marcelo Odrizola, and bring in Navas in goal. It's a pretty solid lineup. I think that should hopefully get the job done. Actually, Ibrahim Diaz is really buzzing for this game, uh, but he's okay. He's more of an AMF. We'll, we'll leave him for now. So yeah, that's the lineup. That's what we're going to go for. There's going to be more changes, okay? I'm going to make changes. If you don't like me making changes, I'm sorry. This isn't the playthrough for you. Um, I'm not going to bring in, you know, Ronaldo's and Messi's, but we're, we're mixing and matching. You know, Modric has gone. Replace him with a younger Zayesh, who's, who's pretty solid. Um, we, we plan on getting rid of Benzema, definitely. And then we'll see what else we're going to do. I mean, we still have the likes of Isco and Asensio. Do we want to sell those players? I don't know. I don't know. Not 100%. But anyway, that is going to be the lineup. Hope you guys do enjoy it for today. Taking on Espanyol. I should officially have their stadium, so it'll be uh, pretty authentic. But for some reason, the kits are not loading. What on earth is going on today? Okay, so uh, I had to actually fix a couple of things. Of course, another update comes out on Pez. Every single time you have an update, it messes things up. So I had to remove the licensed team CPK file, which means I don't think chance are going to work. Uh, but at least I've got the, uh, the kits back and all that fun stuff. Didn't even notice before that they weren't there. Anyway, there's the lineup. You guys know. You've seen it all. Let's dive into it. This should be uh, pretty authentic. The stadium's there. The scoreboard. First game of the season. Let's see how we get on. So you join us for the start of La Liga. And Real Madrid coming off the back of that defeat. As we know against Atletico Madrid in the Super Cup where they... They fought hard, they came for 2-0 down and make it 2-2, but in the end, Diego Simeone's side just had a little bit too much for them. And Luigi will be hoping for a good start to the season. So away we go, Real Madrid attacking from right to left. In their traditional all-white. Espanyol from left to right. And, uh, well, Luigi's already been busy, hasn't he? He's made a couple of changes to this Real Madrid side. Bringing in the likes of Zayesh to replace Modric. And here's an early chance now for Junior. A lovely run by him as a strike, and it just flashes past the post. That's the threat that this young, pacey lad brings. Look at this, just flicked it past the defender. Close, but no cigar. Well, there was taught that Real Madrid were looking to snap up the likes of Icardi. But he snubbed Real Madrid and turned them down. Wanted to stay in Italy. So now Real Madrid could be looking for another forward. Benzema may be going at some point. Tony Kroos. Here is Benzema. Flicks it on. Zayesh now. Stretch the legs. Back to Marcelo. Looking for Tony Crows, but forcing the pass. 
Dispossessed. Granaro. Ferreira. Dada. This season, of course, we know Barcelona will be one of the favourites to reclaim the La Liga title. But Atletico Madrid in the last game certainly proving that they could be a massive contender. Right now, it's a little bit back and forth. No real momentum between either side. Neda headed back. Hermosa. Dada. Bale inside. Lorente. Zayesh. Good idea. Got a little bit of an elbow, but not enough to warrant the foul. Zayesh has done well to win it back. Still going, just trying to poke it through. Right now, it's just that final pass. Garcia, Ferreira. Back to Dada. Villa. Looking past that. Well played, Tony Crows. Good play this by Espanyol. That should be a comfortable for Navas. Placing Courtois. If you watched the last game, you would have seen Courtois get beaten from a ridiculous range. But he did try and go up to salvage something. And it just backfired completely. Marcelo, lovely ball. Delivered in. Looking near post. Touch. Good control. Garcia. Espanyol have... If they're going to move, they've got to move quickly. But at the moment, struggling to maintain the ball. We'll play Tony Kroos. Back to Garcia. Sorry, not Garcia. Back to Audrey Zola. Just over 10 minutes to play here. The first match of the season. Benzema. Lovely little turn. Junior gets it on the left foot. Goes down. The referee wasn't having any of it. And rightly so. Because he won the ball. Could this be a, a one-goal win-it type of match? Possibly with the way both these sides are defending in this opening half. Garcia flicks it on. Well played. Rafael Varane wasn't waiting for it at all. Tony Crows goes down. The referee plays on with the quick free kick. Here comes Audrey Zola. Starts again with Lorente. Zayesh. Marcelo, see the Ramager players are coming inside just a little bit. Lorente. Zayesh again, so fast, but not quick enough to keep it. It's been a bit scrappy, hasn't it, this half? Bit of a warm-up phase for Luigi and his team. New faces in the side. Good looking pass, but Real Madrid read it well. Into the final two minutes of the half. Now Zayas let it run through, but hang on, wait a minute. It's a little bit sloppy, and he scores. Terrible defending, but the new boy, number 10, gets his debut goal. And there was no hesitation once he was away, was there? He actually let that run through his legs and then he just kept going and he stole it. They tried laying it back to the goalie and it was a tidy, tidy finish. Now Ramager get the second half underway and the new young lad of Carl Felix comes on to see how he can do. I'm sure he was uh, expecting to come on at some point but Luigi's decided, well, we're going to put him on early as uh, Lorente comes off. Espanyol had a, a pretty disappointing first half. Didn't look like they were creating too much, or if anything, anything at all. Here is Felix now. Definitely a player that you're going to watch for the future. Vila. Duarte lays it forward. Data. Roca. Great challenge. Gareth Bale. Benzema lays it off. Looking for Felix. Well, there's a chance to lay this over the top, which is exactly what they're looking for. And uh, the referee, Lino, deemed it offside. Just about a foot. Tony Crows comes across to take it. Lovely ball in! 
And a header for Kareem Benzema. Well, you feel he maybe should have hit the target. Broker. Nicely worked. Sergio Garcia. Rosales. A couple of players in the box. Does manage to deliver it in, but Rafael Varane did well. Zayas gets half ahead onto it. Junior has seen the run over the top, looking for Gareth Bale. It's an absolute peach of a ball, but the Welshman couldn't hit the frame. Probably should be 2-0. What about this for awareness? And we know Bale's got the pace, but he had to take it quickly. It was bouncing just ahead of him. Well, the goal scorer, Zayesh, great, great debut for him. Picking up a goal, and on comes Isco. Just looking a little bit tired now. Well, overall, you'd have to say it was a, a confident display. Got a little bit fortunate with the goal, but then again, credit to him for sticking with it. The ball's delivered in. Benzema wanted the volley out for a Real Madrid throw now. Still yet to really see any action from Espanyol. Tony Kroos. Here is Andrea Zola. Look at the space he's got. Plenty of uh, white shirts in the box. Benzema went for it. Comes back out to Isco. Tony Crows, lovely run, good effort, good save. Well, he may be playing as a, a more defensive centre midfielder, but that doesn't mean he's not going to bring it forward. Got it in his mind, he was going to have a strike, did, forced a good save. Well played, Tony Crows. An enticing ball as well. Felix looking for Benzema. Hasn't really had too many chances, the Frenchman today. Nicely worked. Isco flicks it on. Felix now. Chance to bring it forward. Benzema. Junior. Oh, he was looking for but Felix again. Better football by Real Madrid. And they're going to make a change finally. Victor Sanchez on for Granero. And Real Madrid make another debut change. Pavon comes on for Gareth Bale let's see what he can do Got 15 minutes left Real Madrid still have that slight lead they've certainly deserved it and Pavon already causing problems gets it back once more how is the delivery it was a great ball in and a spectacular effort Benzema must have been watching Romelu Lukaku last season Scored some fantastic goals, didn't he, from scissor kicks. Here is a chance now for Espanyol. Tony Crows comes across, deflection. Real Madrid hoof it away. Pavon, what a touch that is. Benzema. Felix to find Marcelo. Space inside now for Risco. Benzema wants it. Flicked on. Here is Junior, causing Jimenez to get a hand onto it. It probably should be about 3 or 4 nil at this rate. It isn't. And uh, it very well may finish that Espanyol have not had a single attempt on goal all game. They've been woeful. Absolutely woeful. But that was woeful by Ramos. What a silly place to lose it in the final few seconds of the match here. Well played, Marcelo. And that surely will give Real Madrid all three points with their first match of the season. They should have won by more, but they'll take it. Espanyol, terrible, didn't do a thing. Lackluster throughout. And that of match today probably will be Zayas. There it is. Zero attempts, zero on target against nine for Real Madrid. Man of the match, yes, was the goal scorer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I probably won't be using this DT file again. That was absolutely horrendous. I mean, what on earth? What on earth are you doing? You're not going to have a single attempt, and I didn't play that well. Uh, but either way, it's the start of the season. We'll get things rolling. Uh, elsewhere, Girona, or uh, Girona, nil, Ibar, one. Levante lost to Real Sociedad. Valencia beat Alavaz. Uh, Athletic Club beating Villarreal. Celta Vigo, one. Sevilla beat Atletico Madrid. Uh, Lagunes won, Barcelona beat Getafe and uh, Valladolid beating Vallecano. So there's your top, well, seven pretty much. 
all on three points, but Celta Vigo lead the way. Bottom of the table is Alavés. So Pavon's already increasing, so that's good sign. Uh, we'll start playing him a lot more. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts as well. Do we do we get rid of Bale? Do we keep him? What do we do here? Do we just go for something a little bit different? Cristiano Ronaldo has won uh, the Europe Best Player Award. There's another one for him, looking sharp and dapper in the bow tie. But yeah, let me know if you want me to get rid of some other, you know, other players. You know, I don't mind mixing it up. I don't mind playing with uh, lesser stars, should we say. Uh, we can certainly alternate uh, Gareth Bale if we need to. Uh, there's a couple of offers there as well. But we'll be back in the next episode and we'll focus on probably switching out Kareem Benzema. Uh, we'll take a look at the Champions League draw as well. It's going to be pretty active the first couple of episodes as we just just try and sort this out with the players that we want and everything else. Um, so let's have a look here. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and no, not renew the contract. No, but we'll accept the terms. Get him on loan. Put him on loan as well. So yeah, if you have any other recommendations, please do keep leaving them in the comments. I mean, I apologize about the classic players. I have it set to off. It seems to be a bug. I don't know. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today. Yeah, we'll probably go back to the original. I, I'll play a couple of matches with the original file, gameplay file, and we'll see how the AI play. It will feel better for me in the sense that it'll be better responsiveness-wise, but... Um, you know, you're not going to get the variety that you normally get between teams. But, I don't know, Espanyol look just shocking, to be honest. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, take care.